We're going to talk about the Hearty Cup as well. You can see it this weekend on um, on Stream Sport and Munster GEA. So uh, that, that's a good place to tune in for that. We're going to look at some of the high highlights of the semi-finals here by the way you can get the link to the to where you can uh, get those streams underneath the video description uh, on youtube and we'll tweet out the link as well but here's a uh, cashel against art skull reach in their semi-final the highlights there and on the run is mark o'brien o'brien still going here mark o'brien with the strike mark o'brien has got the for big caravan there it's caravan that has it needs a bit of help gets away for a yard or so a big caravan has leveled the contest there excellent score Connolly's had two siders as well, Leo. Absolutely, yeah. Um, gone over the bar, yeah. Lead for Cashel. In particular, you know, he's, he's really developing as a an county hurler. And he has nailed that one. Has Fintan Fitzgerald. Excellent. Against our ladies, Temple Moore here. As off they go here. It's Adam Daly on the run. Bit of danger here for Arts Goal. Adam Daly with the strike. Two point lead here for Cashel. now for Sean Morrissey to clear his lines. Plays it over towards Fintan Fitzgerald. Good block down in front of him. Fitzgerald does well. He lost the early. Boots it back to Mikey Gavin. Gavin's going from range here. Mikey Gavin has struck that one. Sensation. It's going to drop. It's going to drop over the bar. Brit Cashler there again. Nearly handled it on the ground. Did the Cashel defender. On this occasion, Ushin Adunu. Shane Buckley decides to go along. Gets it away from his defence. Good take in there. Over across to David McGrath now. McGrath's going to go from 45 metres out. David. John O'Keefe is there as well. Scully comes. Doesn't collect on it. A chance here for Cashel. The shot comes in from Adam Daly. Leo to get out and try and just get the ball in their hand. They've done it this Pop time. It over the bar. Should be a score here for Art Skull. And they've nailed it this one. A good finish from... Um, yeah, that's good news for Art Skull. He's yeah. on here. They're going to have another chance here. It's Collins again to put one between them. And Michael Collins has sent that one between That side by Ben Curvin. It's had a relatively quiet game as Curvin gets the pass backwards to Adam that's Daly. Daly score. has nailed that one again. It's a two point. To Mark O'Brien could have been so good there for Art Skull. O'Brien has it in hand anyway, though. Mark O'Brien with the shot is a one point between the sides. Great start for Art Skull. Make that a two point game against the ball inside. Chance for Ben Curvan. There's a runner here. Chance for a goal. David McGrath. Goal! Chris and Paulsman's got it up. Gets it off to Jamie Moylan. Moylan with the strike. Jamie Moylan oh, has score. responded very, very well for Art Skull Reach. This is sure can land this one. Very difficult angle. Hitting right into that. Fairly vociferous. Cashel players behind the goal. Is it, but when he plays it down on top of Michael Gavin. Gavin goes for the strike this time. Gavin has nailed oh, that one. Nailed That's some it. score from. Should be refereed, in my opinion. I agree completely there. This one's launched in. Bouncing around the edge of the square. Just chances flicked on there. And they they didn't push on against our school reach. They have to push on here today now and get the score. And Ronan Connolly has oh, landed some that score. one. That's some. Sees the hand pass outside of Miss John O'Keefe. O'Keefe will go for the score. John O'Keefe has struck it. Over John O'Keefe has nailed it as well. What a score from the corner. Anytime soon. It's Cashel on the attack. Shot comes in. Is that one nailed? It is. It's a beauty. Absolute beauty. From Fintan. And the accuracy. Well, the umpires, have, they've given it. It's a suit. Cashel, no time, wasting time. They have it. Cashel have it. Daly has nailed it. Adam Daly has put Cash One point game. One twelve to 14. Do you put put this ball around the edge of the square? Maybe a back come out and, and foul the Jamie forward, whatever the case may be. But they're going to start. Oh, gone here. short. Jim Beery trying to win it, doesn't do so. Full time! And Cashel have beaten Art Skull in the Hearty Cup semi final. Adam Daly score one minute. Pardon me, I had myself on mute there. Adam Daly looks a, a very good hurler. We saw him last year playing for the Tipperary Miners, I'm sure you remember. And uh, he was really good in some of those. So some quality stuff there. We'll look a little bit at the other semi-finals. Just quickly, was, Shane, how frightening, yeah. is, how frightening is the physical stature of some of those guys for school-going teenagers? Like, my God, it's it has come on an awful lot since me, since me, me and you were boys. We were scr scrawny little fellas doing a few push-ups here and there. They're absolute <laughs> monsters of men. Did, um, do they all do two or three transition years these days? Or? Yeah, potentially, yeah. yeah. I don't think uh, I didn't do transition here, but I just ended up doing the leaving sir three times after mm. they couldn't they couldn't get me out of it. <laughs> and that was all to stay hurling, I presume. 
Uh, we'll, one, one year to stay in Ireland and then because of neglecting the leaving cert twice, I had to go back and, you know, really put all my eggs into the basket the third year. Yeah. Uh, so Turles CBS beat Middleton in the other semi final. So here's the highlights from that game. And as I said, if you want to buy a stream for the final through Stream Sport and Monster GA, you can see the link in the video description. We have that both on Twitter and on YouTube there control it's Walsh just trying to raise that ball fed outside they have a chance here it's sent in and what about that all the way over there to gather that ball hand passes it on Turles with an advantage over the far side it's sent in skyward and they're off the mark and that's a past Evan Morris all the way in he has a shot over the bar nice strike one Padre Coduire from killing all but he's left it behind and away go Middleton and the attack here solo and inside and that's a lovely turn by Middleton Fed up lead now. Joe Egan from McCarkey trying to contain. Flicked inside Jimmy Lahart. Jimmy Lahart trying to get a bit of room to shoot. Here, oh, beautiful touch, beautiful strike towards the corner forward. 50 50 ball. Corner forward does well, kicks it out to his teammate. Here it is, gathered by Joe Marrow. Clever one all the way across here. Jimmy Lahart racing on to it. Jimmy Lahart has a goal! Oh. A goal for Turles. Here in Middleton, just a little jittery after conceding that goal. They need a score to settle themselves again here. It's Timmy Wilk. The Cove man drives it over the far side. Oh, nice breaking ball in there for Jack Lahey. And it's flicked inside! And somehow... That's it, you know. 1-1 one, one here. And the goal scoring tally. Three pints apiece for them here. One three playing one three. Eight and a half. Turles going for another... Goal down the oh. Another one! Another one! Jimmy La 35 flicked on there now outside and away go Middleton again all the way through. Lovely little strike that time. It's in and over the back. Oh, feeds this one inside. Joe Mar is away. Strikes it high. Beautiful stuff from Joe Mar of Mac is possessed over the far side of the field by Robbie Ryan from an acute angle, drives it in. Fantastic oh. strike of the ball. To get that ball in hand and shake off two, away he goes from the sideline, all the way in towards the post. Oh, what! Moved them on him, and Mornan feeds. Turn to CBS, have it back though this time towards Robbie Stapleton, and he's free, being struck there this time, and no mistake from Robbie Ryan. Uh, Middleton committing players and now the room is left back inside and it's sent in this time by Joe Egan and by Robbie Ryan and it's back out Robbie with a second chance here and he makes no mistake beautiful strike beautiful score ball sent out here breaking ball now in front of uh, Owen O'Connell he gathers this one now fed inside lovely ball in as far as Stableton he's all the way in here oh nice little flick across as far as Robbie Ryan Robbie Ryan absolutely everything here any loose ball at all it is won this time by Ben Walsh Ben Walsh showing great skill and control drops it in around the house dropping ball in there it's loose can Middleton get the goal they have a goal they got the all the way in there on top of the half forward Joe Maher. Joe Maher turns one way and the other and puts it over the bar. Open ball under 45 and lovely little turn and it's struck in there. Robbie Stapleton of Turles Sarsfields looking in there waiting for a chance, waiting for something in there and it is James O'Brien striking in. Oh, just off the ball in front of Robbie Stapleton, the far side of the field on the run, strikes it in. Oh, what about that for a strike? Stapleton inside now. A couple of players looking for it. Joe Mardo has the strike from the sideline again. And another. Dennis McCarthy trying to kick start it here. Ball fed in the middle. Joe Mar has it though from center field and strikes it long. For Joe. Ball won again here this time. It is Robbie Stapleton who strikes it in. And it is one way. Joe so Verney, as, as I'm watching this, it just really in. sticks out Matt to me how right much the players uh, actually pop the ball around to each other compared with young lads years ago. They really don't Jimmy mind Lahart. popping it around. Lahart no, they're all, it's all coached into them, isn't it? They, you know, pass the ball off the bet man. Like, I haven't seen a blind ball in in yet. Everything is sympathetic to the man that's receiving the ball. I presume Robbie Stapleton has no relation to yours because he's got his show serious skills. You look at him. From a CBS point of view, oh, Jimmy Lahard, uh, Joe Maher, Robbie Stapleton, like, they're going to be hard stopped in the forward line. Look at that, like, 320 is some shooting. Um, I don't think...
I don't think uh, CBS won the last one to Harry, I think, in 2015. Cash and CBS as it was formerly known, we're in the final back in the 70s, but I don't think they've won a hearty cup. Um, so you probably have one team, one team on Turles with a big tradition. I think Eamon Buckley's involved there, a former tip player. You know, the other side who probably a lot less tradition, but, you know, a serious side. And beating Arch School, beating Arch School reaching the semi-final, who are definitely one of the favourites to win it. Um, they laid down a fair mark in the semi-final. Yeah, so uh, as I said, you can get the link to the, you can buy the stream via the link that we've put out there. So,